Syria. Let's bring in Calvin Dark. He's an international affairs analyst and joins us live from Washington, D.C. Uh, Calvin, how significant is the timing of Bouteflika's announcement that he won't be seeking a fifth term? Why now? And how much did the growing protests and political instability push him towards this decision, do you think? Well, I think on the issue of timing, he really didn't have much of a choice. And when I say he, I mean the people that are around him, because I think it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that Abdelaziz Bouteflika doesn't really realize what's going on, unfortunately, because of his health. I think that, as we've seen in several countries in the region, when you have an entourage of a leader like Bouteflika, who have been running things in his stead, when there is popular protest to change, to have real democracy, it inches forward with proposals that I don't really think are genuine. Like the proposal that he had of, we'll have an election in a year, if I win, that wasn't legitimate. And even today's, this is a... a sort of a win for the Algerian people, but notice it didn't say win. So this just basically means he's a democratic elected leader who's decided the elections won't happen and there'll be a conversation on constitutional reforms that he'll decide when that is not what the Constitution allows. Uh, and, Calvin, many of the protesters who took part in the demonstrations were students, they were young people. How much of a disconnect is there between Algeria's ruling elite uh, and young Algerians who see a completely different vision for the country? Well, I think that you're dealing with a country where um, more than half of the country are younger than I am, you know, 30 and below. And I think what they've realized is, while Bouteflika gets a lot of credit for bringing Algeria out of the civil war and bringing relative stability and economic security relative in the country, he's, he represents the old guard. And they wanted a new vision. And frankly, even if it doesn't mean that someone of his age couldn't have that vision, but the fact that these young people were looking at a leader that hasn't spoken publicly in five or six years, they realize that's not the... That's not the leader that can make Algeria where it can be on the world stage, in North Africa with its, with its partners, um, Morocco and Tunisia and others. And they wanted to change. And Abdelaziz Bouteflika is not that change. And I suppose the big question now, Calvin, is who will succeed him? I mean, is it going to be a rubber-stamped senior figure from the army? Will it be an Islamist? Or is it likely to be a kind of new progressive figure who will bring about the social and political reforms which are so badly needed? Well, I think that if, I can't speak for the protesters, but if they had their choice, it would be that last one, a progressive leader that represents a new vision for Algeria. But as we deal in realism, it's got to be someone who um, is blessed by the military, blessed by Abdelaziz Bouteflika's entourage, or else I don't really see legitimate free and fair elections happening if the people that are controlling things behind the scenes, if they're not happy or at least can have a new president that will allow them to ease out of power. Calvin Dark, thank you very much indeed for talking to Al Jazeera.